the really cool features within VizMe is the ability to actually add links uh, to any object. So you can actually add interactivity between slides or even between different objects. So let me show you how that's done. Let's say that you have a um, presentation and in the case of a presentation, what is it normally like? You know, there is a, um, a slide and what you do is between those slides, you, you know, go from one slide to another. And there's really no interactivity in that. It's just um, the user clicks from one clip to another. But let's say that you want to actually uh, trigger or add a call to action, as we call it, a link or a hyperlink. Um, they're all pretty much the same thing and you want the user to be able to uh, click on an area Let's say you want them to be able to click on the settings area and on click take them to another um, section, so this will be almost like setting up a, um, a Button on websites you click on a tab and you go to another page Well, it's the same concept within presentations infographics and so on uh, Within VizMe. so let me show you how what you can do is you can click on pretty much any object and you'll notice that you have a link tab. And when you click that, you can go ahead and add a hyperlink. That's a link such as if you want them to go to another website. So let's say if I want the user to go to, you know, VizMe, uh, or if I want them to then uh, when they click on the link to open it on the same window, actually open a new tab within a browser, you can do that. You can also um, pop up layers. This is a separate tutorial we'll go into later for uh, demos and uh, pop up windows within VizMe. Um, you can also, of course, have the user go to another slide. So meaning that if you were the user was to, uh, if I remove this, you would have to remove the hyperlink. So if I want the user to click on this and then select a slide. So if you notice on the right side, each slide has a name. So you can actually designate names so you will know which one you're looking at. And uh, what you can do is then um, go in and assign a slide. So let me just backtrack for a moment because what I don't want to do is I don't want this to be the only object that I'm adding a link. I want to assign a link to this entire area. So there's a little trick to achieve this. And the way you do it is you'll just go ahead to your shapes and you'll go ahead and actually just uh, grab a um, shape such as a little uh, box, uh, in this case a rectangle, or which I shape into a rectangle. And so what you would do is just go ahead and um, put that over the area. Now, of course, you don't want this to be visible. So what I'm going to do is go to my effects and then just go to zero. Okay, so the object is now uh, hidden. You know, I cannot see it. But the fact is that it's actually there. So if I click it, I will go ahead and give it a um, link designation. So I'm going to give it a link. And if you notice, I want the user to click on this and I want them to go to this slide that I've called settings. So what I'm going to do is go to my go to slide and I'm going ahead and actually select the setting. So what I just did was I click this area. Uh, when I publish it, the user clicking on this area will be uh, taken to the settings tab. So let's see how that works. I'm going to go ahead and actually publish my project. So I'm going to go ahead and just click view. And so here we are. I am in my uh, presentation. And so let's say I go to the next tab. Now you see I don't have any call to actions here. Uh, my mouse cover doesn't change. But if I come over here, you can see my mouse change because this entire area is a link. So you see I'm clicking on these. Nothing's happening because I've not added a link. But on this one, I had added the links. I've told it to go to the settings slide. So when I do that, there you go. I actually had it go to the settings slide. So that's the way that you can actually uh, set up links right within VizMe. It's extremely simple. You can use it to act as buttons to take users to other sections. And uh, you can uh, use it to go to other websites. For example, let's say I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to go ahead and just duplicate this to save myself time. So it's here. I'm going to go move this object right over there and in this case I'm going to link it so in this case I'm going to remove it from the slide and I want it to go to our own website VizMe so I'm going to go ahead and add this in and tell it to go to the VizMe site and I want it to open a new window okay so let's go ahead and publish this and see what happens when I click on the pins so I've gone ahead and published it and there we go so I'm going to go to the next slide and if you notice on this one, of course, I had added a link to go to the next slide. 
but on the pins I added the link so that it will literally open a new page and there we go we've gone to the visme.co website so that is uh, the way that you can create call to actions right within visme it allows you to really add interactivity engaging areas so perhaps you create an infographic and you want the user to click and go to your website or click and go to a form and so on so you can imagine what you can do with this feature go ahead and give it a try thank you